Well, while Veterans Day is a way to celebrate those who served our country, it's also a difficult day for others who are still waiting on their loved ones to return home. More than 81,000 soldiers remain missing since World War II. On your side's Haley Harrison's bringing us the story tonight of one Jacksonville woman who's found hope in a local project to remember her father and the thousands of other MIA soldiers. As American flags filled the air, Pam Kane waved back from a float. She didn't know she'd get as emotional as she did during her first time a part of Jacksonville's Veterans Day Parade. It's with me every day. I get emotional um, every day, but my dad is always with me, always a part of me. I just would like him to be home and buried in his country. It's been 55 years since her father, Air Force Colonel Oscar Moderer, went missing while serving in the Vietnam War. Now she's involved in a group in Jacksonville that's trying to help remember her father and the tens of thousands of other soldiers who went missing in action. I think it's a real place of hope. It's a place of history. It's a place where families can tell their stories. The future plans for the National POW MIA Memorial and Museum include a hall where the names of all the MIA soldiers will be projected on a glass wall. The memorial recently broke ground on phase one, which will honor all who were lost while stationed at NAS Cecil Field. Now we're going to get it finished. Uh, thanks to Vistar. Vistar is a huge supporter. Uh, we've got a matching $150,000 uh, fund that we're trying to get together. But while she waits for the MIA memorial to be built, Kane wants others to not forget about those still unaccounted for this Veterans Day. Um, in my dad's case, he and the other MIAs are unreturned veterans, so they should be honored and remembered on Veterans Day as well. I'm Haley Harrison, First Coast News, on your side.